not oftentimes do people ask you um, what makes you uh, be a proud Roma. I moved from Slovakia when I was four. Uh, I lived in Dublin for about probably like ten years. Then I moved here into Longford, living here for about seven, eight years. Yeah, I'm a second generation Rome in Ireland then. It's pretty easy for me, I picked up the language real quick. I got along with the people and it's easy for me. Basically, I speak more English than probably Roman nowadays. It was probably way harder for our parents, like for the first generation, since they're first here, it's hard for them to pick up the language, probably get into the job, like get along with the people as well. So I think it was pretty like, hard for them, but the props to them, they got along with it. Like Patrick, he's, he's, he's a great lad. Um, He's a role model for all the lads here, but not just for the lads. I volunteer in Youth Reach as well, and I help out at uh, Michal with stuff, and I help hear people with music and all that, trying to like, bring up music. All the young lads, we have groups of loads of young people here. We've only had a small number here today performing, but there's loads. There could be 20, 18, 20 more lads, but they all look up to Patrick. As I said, I'm trying to help out like, uh, our Roma people with music, because I know they love it so much. And I know myself, like when I was learning and I needed help, I didn't have it, I had to learn myself, so I'm trying to like help all the boys. Patrick does help a few of them teach them guitar himself as well. If there was a community job or a youth work job, I, you know, Patrick would be the fella I'd love to have. Like he, he's so easy at engaging his own community, like he'd be perfect for any job like that. The Roman music is so big in their culture. You know, and, and that's part of their culture and Patrick and the other lads bringing it down to the younger, younger generations of, of young Roma lads, boys basically and girls. It's, it's keeping the Roma culture going, you know. In the future I'd probably like to be like a youth worker working with like different communities, Roma travellers, all them. So I don't know, I get along good with people and I like helping out people that's, if they're happy, I'm happy as well. And to be Roma uh, because of the overall influence that we did, uh, we had on European culture from flamenco to Balkan music and to poetry. It's, it's just sad that we don't really know about that. It is very important to don't forget who you are, uh, to have your own language to have your own tradition, because if you lose that, then you are nobody. Uh, being Irish and Roma um, is quite complex. From a young age, I really wanted to fit in society. I guess when you're a teenager, you want to blend everybody. You want to be part of the cool kids. But the older you get, you, you do have a calling back to your roots. The Irish people just really welcoming me, and uh, I found Ireland very good to me. That's why I stay in this country. I plan uh, my life and then uh, I have children and I found a safe place 
to grow up my children here in Ireland. From a young age, I have been involved with online activism, um, where I promoted uh, my culture, uh, the Roma history and the needs and the issues that Roma face currently. I need to pass that to my children to be proud who they are. From then onwards, uh, this inspired me to uh, study law and criminology at Manute. Um, on campus, I was involved in further spreading awareness about Roma and empowering uh, Roma um, students to be proud and to feel that they are visible on the campus. And now I progress to work at Pavi Point as a peer researcher where um, we seek to uh, promote Roma rights and inclusion into the uh, non-Roma majority society. At Pavi Point we recognize that both communities of Traveller and Roma need to have space where they can celebrate openly their culture without any judgment um, as well as we seek to promote the rights, equal opportunities and equal treatment in the overall Irish society. I'm really proud to be like a Roma because uh, music is a big part of it and since I really love music, I'm passionate about it, it really helps me like, and it makes me proud. So music to them, it takes them to a different world. Uh, they're just, they're in their own world, like uh, the whole place could fall down around them. They're just in the zone, they just love music, they're passionate for music. Um, since I was a baby, I was very into um, music and dancing and I was raised in a household where uh, it was filled with laughter, joy, music. It was so colourful growing up in my household, um, in a Roma household. It started a few years ago. Uh, we were down running a, a football group with a young traveller men's group. We were running football. And I seen the lads over in the playground and I approached over the lads and I, I I said to them, they were cagey at the start because they talked, they didn't know who I was. I said, lads, would you be interested in playing football? And they said, um, oh yeah, we would, yeah. And I said, if you can get a few lads ab about, um, I'll organise football with you here on another night if you'd like to play. So that was how we engaged them at the start, myself and my co-worker. And then through, as the weeks went on, the, the conversation came out, music. Roma culture means to me like uh, your family, your friends, Ma mainly music because like I'm passionate with music. I really love music since I was like small. Like just with the family getting together, playing the piano, getting your father, getting your uncle, then some other cousins coming over singing. That's just how we do it all the time. Capital fund mon funding came and we ended up buying a load of music equipment and I said lads setting up a music, a Roma music group. We meet here every Thursday night, once a week. They practice at home and I remember the lads telling me about it, Michal, we'd be practicing away and next thing, they knock on the door and it's the guards. The neighbours have rang the guards saying the music is too loud and they can't be themselves, they can't play the way they want to. They're playing and they're on edge wondering the owners, the neighbour going to ring the guards now. We give them a, a place here that they can play as loud as they want. And I said, this lad, this is your place. The only thing is, we only run it one night a week. We could run a group, a different group every night. There's so much roam around here, mad for music. And there's other lads coming, knocking at the door. Can we play as well? So basically it was like our families. So my dad used to play piano, so he taught me how to play the keyboard. And he learned me how to sing a bit. So yeah. We brought them on a trip then as well to Dublin there only recently. We brought them ice skating and I said, you know, I might bring them over to a big music superstore as such. So I brought them into the shop and when I brought them in, they go, oh, Michal, wow, wait, wow, this is unreal. Straight away, the manager was on their back, following them up and down and I called them over and I said, look, I said, 
what's wrong with the lads? And I said, oh, these are gurriers. Or I said, no, I said, these are not gurriers. These lads are, their music is their life, their passion, they're just, music is all they love. So he called a few of his co-workers behind the counters, come out, give the lads whatever they want, take it down, let them play away, whatever they want. So they took down a few instruments, set it all up, and before we know it, there was a bigger crowd around them. And their man was so impressed with them, like he said, God, these guys are gifted. I was watching my grandmother, how she was always doing, what she was wearing. And I said, Grandma, why so colorful clothing? Why is the jewelry? Why would need this? She said, that is our tradition. The Polish Roma are very into their culture and their traditions. And oftentimes people in my community, due to the persecution, when the kids were sent into schools, they were stripped of their identity and their culture. So me continuing with my education, I wanted to prove also to my community that it's possible to uh, be educated and to be in your culture, in your tradition, and not forget your roots. And I said, um, Grandma, what about different clothes? No, no, no. If you want to be a Rom Roma Romney, you want to be a Roma, you have to keep follow your tradition. Uh, about your wearing, your language, and how you how you showing yourself between your people. Uh, being Irish and Roma uh, makes me very proud because it recognizes the history my family had from the Holocaust to the nomadic lifestyle to um, all of this led to me to live in Ireland and be and take part in the Irish society. Actually, uh, Vanessa, my daughter, she's wearing my grandmother's scarf, what is 33 years old. It's handmade. And actually, there is a label of my grandmother's surname on it. And um, my grandmother, she, uh, until she's passed away, she passed to my daughter because she was the favorite one. And she passed to her. So we keep her the scarf like our treasure, our gold our life because that is the last thing what actually stay for us after her. Jalan Jalan to the Roma community is overall a song about our history and our hardships. 
we are outcast of the world. We don't have our house. We don't have our land where to go. We would have to traveling all of our life. It's basically an anthem, Roma. We all have like different style of singing it. Like different countries have different styles. We, we played our style, so yeah. There is many different Roma across Europe and across the world. Um, however, the one thing that brings us together is um, the fact that we're all Roma and Jell and Jellum is the one thing that also brings us together. We all sing Jell and Jellum uh, in unity together. So our hymn is very important to us. And we sang it our way. There's literally fast, slow, there's different type of ways playing the song. I am so proud to be a Roma woman. I have my tradition. I have my language. I have my um, family. I have... Um, I am human. I, I live and uh, I have my children. Uh, I'm growing them in tra traditions. I am so proud to be a, a Romani woman.